registration page. Um, yeah, registration page we have finished. And uh, manually, if you see that, uh, so just fill the data. So what are the data you have? Make sure you take the so new email. Okay, so don't use old email. And six three and. Uh, just give the address. Okay. I'm just giving some valid data so that we can move to next page. So check this checkbox. Okay, um, this email already exists. Yeah, so this is the one we, so we are writing, right? Well, so this is the test case. Uh, we have to already identified here. You can see the elements already identified the elements. So you can see here, um, account created breadcrumb success link. So this one. So this is the one I was talking and uh, next yeah. account created continue button. So this is the one and your account has been created a uh, header. So this is the one header and this is the one you can see this all those things here. Yeah, content H1. So do content H1. So all these elements one, two, three, four, all these elements, and also this contact us link here. So this one. So if you haven't written any methods, you can write, see is account created success present, uh, is account created breadcrumb success link is present. Click on breadcrumb home icon, yeah. click on contact us yeah. link, yeah. click on contact us link, and uh, so these are all we have identified, okay? And uh, maybe we need to write click on continue button, right? Um, so your account has been created, continue button. Click on continue button. So that continue button, you can write. So. Same contact as link. Is it available here?
click continue button, but uh, we have to differentiate that. So let's uh, differentiate that. Your, your account has been created, continue button. Continue. So these are the so pages, uh, all pages we have completed. Now let's move on to the test cases. So we need to go to test cases. So understand first what we need to do. So home page, right? Home page. So we, we understood already that home page you need to create one, right? First home page test. So that's one test case you create. In that test case, what you want to verify, what you want to test it. So how can you test the this uh, test cases? How can you design the test cases? To design the test cases, you need to use Test ng. So you need to use test ng framework. So use the test ng and that test ng annotations you have to use. So what are all the annotations you want? You can just take it up. So basically, we need to create all these page class objects first. So this page class objects we created here in the test base. So in this test base class, so we declared already here. So object we declared reference variable and object creation you will do in the respective class. So I'll create a home page test first. So where to create a test cases, right click on the test case, um, test ng create test ng class. So the class name you give as a home, home. home test. Home. test. Home. But now choose which, which annotations you want. So before class, so after class, before method. After method, if you want, you take it. Otherwise, leave it. Taking that, we can't finish. Hey, this is the one and extends so test base class. So extends the test base class. You extend it to so import this is the one extend test base class and so in the before class, this one. So you initialize all your uh, no, classes. What are the classes you, you need? So initialize them. So you just initialize them. And uh, I'm going to put this test cases in the bottom side, okay? So I don't want, so here I'll keep it. So here in the before class, you just initialize. So your classes, which classes we need, home page we need, registration page we need, login page we need, because we are navigating to that pages. So that, that page validation, that page objects I'm going to use. 
So that is the reason I need that. Okay. So let's go and uh, no, do that. So I logged in. I log from here. So this is the home page. So home base test cases you can do like verifying this uh, open cart, navigating to registration page, navigating to login page, and then this featured links are poor or not. You can check that, okay? So that assertions, you can put it. And if you want still, you can do this, um, this uh, home page footer links validation if you want. You can do that also. So first create the, so logger, Let's create the logger. So private uh, logger, log equal to log manager dot get logger. So get logger and you can just give page it test. dot plus dot get me get me get name is a method okay get name is a function so log manager you input uh, so log for say and logger also org dot apache So this one and then so here you can import log dot so log dot info so simply right initializing page class objects So which place, you no, know, you can see here, page objects. So the page name, uh, object reference I given home page. Only you call this because you already extended this. All this class variables you can use in the home page class. New home page. So try one. <laughs> Next, same way. So, what is, what is the registration page we have given? Are easy, easy. So, just do that. New registration page. Pro driver. Registration, something wrong? The registration page, REGP. Left side, sir. Registration page. Home page is the rest. Easy. Do we have written? Uh, I don't know if it went out, but okay. Yeah, fine. So next. Same thing you do. So equal to you know login page. That's it. So this is the initialization before class. It will execute first, right? That's why we have taken this. Um, so before class. So. Then uh, before method, I'll just, you know, you don't need this also before method and uh, after method. Uh, basically, just, you know, wait, wait purpose I am just using. Okay. It will take some time to load, right? That, that purpose I'm using. So maybe I'll just wait. Dot wait for page load. <laughs> Bye. 
Please mute if you are not talking. Okay. Then after method, uh, so every so we'll see after method how to use. I have no every test after you need to use this after method. You know, waiting means you can do for every test case before you can wait. Not an issue. So in the same home page only, you're asking to wait. So first test case. So verify the open cart logo. So that's the first test case. So verify open cart logo test. So verify open cart logo test. See test keyword you have to use for the test cases. And here, if you want, you can write a description. So description equal to, so you write, so TC, so zero one, and verifying the open part logo. So verify the open cart logo and so maybe so you can if you want to give priority also you can give priority for this. Suppose I want to run first priority equal to one. You can do that also. So how can you verify? So just assertion, right? Log dot info. So log dot info verify the logo. Logo text. So uh, basically assertions, all you need to use assertions for verification. So assert true, right? So you are to, there is a Boolean methods we have written that Boolean methods you have to supply here. So object reference of home page, use object reference of home page dot. And you can see is uh, open card logo exist. That's it. That's a one simple test case we are writing. So that's a test case one. Same way test case two also you can do that. So next test cases. So what is a test case to, so you see what are other things are there? Maybe I can verify the open card page title, right? So verify the open card page title. Open card page title. So verify the open card piece title test. Okay. So verify the open card piece title test. So, and this one you can do asset equals, right? Uh, you have, you know the, so asset equals. So I'm going to use asset equals. And uh, I know home page, uh, I can use, already we got the page uh, method there. I think it is there, method is there. So what is that? Get title. Get title method, comma. So in the constant page, uh, home page, you already uh, so stored. Constant dot. So you have a home page title, just type home page title. So that, so this is the actual and this is the expected. 
So both you are comparing. That's how you can uh, check that. Any questions till now? Are we good? Okay, so there's a two test cases, but and go and see in the home page, okay, what are the methods we have written. Um, so navigate to registration, this is the one test case, navigate to login page, another test case, this we have written. And this we need to validate. This also another test case. So you can just write um, another test case. So asset featured TC03 verify uh, the featured cards list. Featured section cards count. So this will be three. I can say take three. So two. Verify featured. Featured cards. On test. So I can write um, assert. So maybe you can put this one home page dot get feature card count. Um, so equal to four. Right. This will generate a boolean, right? And uh, if it is true, this also true. Verify the featured card. Featured section cards count. Okay. So the next one is the navigations. You need to navigate to registration page. You need to navigate to login page. And those two test cases you have to write. So let's write them once. And uh, the next one, two more test cases. Verify, uh, navigate to, navigate to, registration page. So navigate to navigate to registration page. So So you, have, you don't need this one, right? Assertion later. First, you have to call that method. Home page, page object dot 
navigate to registration page. Once you navigate to registration page, you have to wait for that. So you have to wait for registration page. Uh, uh, so you wait for the registration page to load. So I'm going to wait. Uh, so, but you have to wait at a registration page. So take the registration page object. So wait for page load. Wait for page load. So 2000. Wait for page load. So 2000. Uh, So seconds, and then you can assert that. You can assert the page. So you can assert the page. So how you can assert? You can do assert equals also. So assert the page. So just see that log dot info assert the registration. Is title. So I'm going to use assert equals. Assert dot assert equals. So whom so registration page you have to use. A reg pz dot get title. Right? So dot get title. So comma. So then so constant page already we have stored. Constants dot registration page title. So, so while running time, same title is there or not, you are comparing. Then you can click on home icon so in the registration page. So you can click on home icon in the registration page. So already registration page has that. So log dot info. Click on home breadcrumb icon in registration page. Okay, so then to so REZ, REZ dot, click home, uh, click on breadcrumb home icon below one. So that's it. Once you click on, you will, you will come to um, so home page. So that's why I need to uh, so verify this one. Here I am what I'm going to do here is I'll wait for the so page. So I'll wait for the page. Okay, home page. And then uh, you can assert the home page. So you can just write home page dot wait for uh, this command same command you can write then you assert it so assert dot assert equals method you have to use so why after method every test case after you need to verify this so instead of no writing you know duplicate multiple test cases, we are writing this uh, so that automatically it will call this after method. So get title and constants 
dot home page title. That's it. So last test case, navigate to the login page. Navigate to login page. So this is by navigate to login page. Almost similar, I'll just change the wordings. So navigate to login page. And then, so here you have to use a navigate to login page. That's it. So we import rose declaration under this. Uh, I'm just changing to four. I'm changing to five. So the order I'm running by priority keyword. And uh, so then wait for the, it will go to login page, right? So what is the object reference of login page? login pz so you can take that object reference and then login page title you verify and if it is already just you can see that login page uh, title yeah it is there that's it now click on so I'm not sure we have written in the login page home uh, bread. So click on breadcrumb home icon. So let's go and see that. If it is there or not, you can check here, right? Um, click on, yeah, click home icon is there. So click home icon is there, you can use that. Can in login page. So change it to okay. So it's uh, reference variable. Reference because you are referring to login page object. So you have to use that reference variable. So these are the test cases. So we need to so develop and then we have in the after class, we don't need to do anything because um, so it's done already. Uh, after class, we need to close the browser. That's it, right? That browser closing is happening already. So in the other classes. So here you can home page test. So see this many test cases, we got it. Now run the, so how to create a suit file for this? So just create a suit file. So right, select the class, test ng, convert to test ng. So here I can change. So where you want this test ng? Can, can, can you mute if you are talking? So it's a disturbing. So you have to look for, look for that. So we should not disturb others. Okay, so open card. Suit. Open card test. So that's it. Click on finish. 
So your suit file is here. Your suit file is here. So then you can run it. So let's run uh, maybe test ng test. Not sure we have given the browser. Yeah, we are given. It's going fine. Doing to registration base. Yeah. Going to login page. Done. Right. We're good. Alpha test case are passed. 